What is going on guys? This is Miasin. So a new card by the name of Diabelzi of the Original Sin is coming out in Legacy of Destruction. And that card is really correct. I feel like a lot of decks can take advantage of it. The Snake Eye deck can take advantage of Diabelzi. So obviously if the deck uh, dodges the ban list, you're going to be seeing that card a lot. And the Chimera deck can also abuse it. So yeah, today I'll show you guys two combos featuring this package. As well as, you know, give you guys some in-depth explanations. Cards or decks that usually lose to Diabelzi and also ways to just make it even better than it already is. But before we go any further, I would really appreciate if you could smash the like and subscribe button. Let's try to get 1000 likes on this video. I know we can make it. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so combo number one, what you can do with one single Snake Eye Ash, obviously, uh, it's, it's always uh, the same uh, same as usual, uh, normal summon and then get the populace, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't search Divine Temple original, though. You're going to be going for a dramatic chase. But yeah, the rest of the combo is still pretty much the same thing. So summon the Oak and then Shin Link 1, Shin Link 2, uh, get back the populace and then summon uh, the Ash off of the Oak. Summon the Flambridge now, and then link into IP, revive back two monsters, and then you can either go into like an Appaloosa or a Princess, revive back the Flambridge, and then get back the Masquerina in the Spell and Chap Zone, and then either go into like a Sunlight Wolf or Amblo Whale or Raging Phoenix into Zelantis, so that you can summon everything back on the field, and then during your opponent's battle phase, if you got cooling monsters, you can destroy cards your opponent controls without targeting, so that's not too bad. And also this plays around Shadal Fusion, because now you control no monster special summon from the extra deck. Uh, which obviously is not going to matter too often, but still. Anyways, on the end phase, you're going to be using your dramatic chase in order to place the Diabelle Star from the deck directly into the Spell and Chap Zone. And still in end phase, banish it in order to special summon a monster from your Spell and Chap Zone. And that triggers Diabelle Star so that you can set your cycle. Uh, so this is a normal trap card that reads, Take one level 5 or higher illusion monster from deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it, but... If you special summon it that way, you cannot activate its effects during the main phase this turn. Continuous effects are still active. And then its second effect, you can banish it from the grave, then target one phase down card you control, return it to the hand, then you can set one spell trap from your hand. And you can only use one effect return and only once that turn. Uh, this is relevant because the second effect would have had really nice synergy with Diabelzi, but since you're summoning it off of cycle, it's not going to be able to trigger that extra effect that I will explain in a second. But yeah, on your opponent's turn now, you can go right away Sinful Spell Cycle on the draw phase because you don't really want your opponent to use like uh, spell cards very uh, soon. And this card is basically an anti-spell. It is honestly just completely cracked. Uh, so it has three effects. The first one is an inherent summoning condition. If a Sinful Spell's card is in either graveyard, you can special summon it from the hand. So it's a joke to summon because, you know, it counts your opponent's graveyard as well. So in a mirror match, if you got this card and your opponent has like a like a wanted or original Sinful Spell Snake Eye, you can summon this card right away. Anyways, you can only special summon it once per turn this way. Your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards that were not set. So he has to set them first. So in other words, this is Exodia against Pendulums. And it's extremely good against decks that play a lot of quick play spell cards because quick play spells... They cannot be used the turn they are set. That is very relevant. So if you're forcing your opponent to set the cards first, uh, you're basically just shutting them like one turn like behind. That's insane. And also, if either player sets a spell or trap card to the field, while this monster is on the field, except during the damage step, you can target one card you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them, not destroy both. So you can even dodge like your own destruction. And you can only use this effect of Diabelle Z of the orig original Sin once per turn. Yeah, so that's uh, a lot to digest. Uh, well, off of one single card, we have the Flambridge into IP set up. We've got uh, Raging Phoenix and Princess in the graveyard. So that's uh, one additional interruption. So that's three. And then we also got like a, a Diabelle Z, which is pretty much an anti-spell. Again, off of one card, that's just so much pressure. It's just insane. Because if your opponent has a lot of like Evenlies or Imperms, those cards cannot be used. Your opponent has to set them first and then use them. But again, uh, evenly in Imperm, they can't be used the turn you set them because they're still trap cards. They can only be used like right away from the hand if you're trying to activate them from the hand, not from the field. So yeah, this card counters a lot, which again, I will be explaining very shortly. But anyways, let's get into combo number two. So like I said at the very start of the video, Chimera is another deck that can abuse this. So obviously one Mirror Swords Knight does the exact same thing as you were doing before. So you don't have to deviate from the standard combo. It's not like you have to make your deck worse in order to incorporate the Abelzi to your strategy. And you also don't have to rely on Tao the Great Chanter. That's like the Monster Reborn. I think that's the name of the card. But anyways, this time instead of searching your corn Cornfield Coatl, you're going to be searching the Abelzi of the original Sin off of the Graveyard Effect of Gazelle when it is used uh, uh, as a fusion material and sent to the grave, I believe. Uh, yeah, it has to be sent to the grave. So under Shifter, this deck doesn't do too much. Anyways, recycle back the Chimera Fusion. This is four summons, by the way, so you don't have to be afraid of Nibiru. And then on the opponent's uh, uh, end phase, uh, sorry, on your end phase, you make your opponent lose a card. And on your opponent's draw phase or standby, you go Mirror Swords Knight into Burfumet. 
that gets you a double search, but that also gets you the um, Mirror Swords Knight in the Graveyard, which has the ability to banish itself either from the field or graveyard, but preferably in the graveyard so that you get more value off of your cards in order to negate the monster effect that uh, your opponent uh, uh, activates on the field, very specifically on the field. Uh, so it can't negate Nibiru or like Hatchaps and Imseti and stuff like that. Anyways, now we can negate, uh, like I said, a monster effect or upon controls. But if we wanted to play even further, uh, we would be able to go Chimera Fusion and then fuse using uh, two monsters from the field or like two monsters from the hand and one monster on the field. Uh, any configuration works. In order to summon Guardian Chimera, and then we can trigger the effect of Big Wing Burfamet in order to revive back any illusion monster uh, from our graveyard and Diabelzi is an illusion so we can revive back just like that we don't have even we don't even have to play like a sinful spores package uh, this card can be played as a one of and we will always have access to it and we can also revive back uh, from the graveyard using the effect of Chimera the king of uh, phantom beast so that's actually really nice a lot of pressure again off of one single card that's four interruptions because we're ripping a card from Reborn's hand we're negating a monster effect using mirror swords knight and then we're destroying a bunch of cards with guardian Chimera and we are also summoning like an anti-spell that shuts down every quickly spell card evenly imperm and also it's going to, to make it so that uh, if our opponent sets a card in order to try to keep playing we can go diabelzi effect to destroy destroy so that uh, our opponent loses one extra card yeah again that's really correct with um one single card but anyways let's get into the uh, explanations now Alrighty, so exactly just as I mentioned before, Diabelzi is an illusion monster, level 7, so that you can special summon it off of Sinful Spells Cycle. And obviously, this card being a Sinful Spells card means that you can set it with Diabel Star. So you either have to draw this card or want it, or you can straight up just get access to it using Dramatic uh, Chase, which you can search using Populous. So every path leads to Rome. This, th this card is just way too easy to access. Again, regardless of the deck that you are playing, and it's pretty much like an anti-spell, really. It's just that... Uh, your opponent can use like a normal spell card right away or like a field spell or a continuous spell or something but again just not quickly spell cards so quickly spell card uh, spell cards dot deck deck will be um really suffering against this deck it's it's pretty insane uh, but one thing that i uh, will have to state though is that its second effect you can get uh, outplayed if your opponent is really smart because i remember against um well back in the days when true uh, true draco zodiac was a thing uh, in the mirror match, um, people were sometimes bluffing the fact that they have Disciples or Heritage by setting like another card first and then or if their opponent had Cosmic Cyclone, they would be Cosmic Cycloning right away because they're afraid of, you know, their opponent going Tribute Summon over one of these cards and then get rid of their back row. So they wanted to maximize uh, the amount of advantage that they had and they would be setting like bad cards first. And with um, the, the existence of the Abelzi, the same thing might happen. So for example, if you have like an Upstart Goblin and a Dark Ruler, you would be setting your upstart first, and then that would trigger the effect of Diabelle's D. Uh, like, if your opponent wants to, and then you would be destroying the upstart, and then you can use Dark Ruler. Uh, so yeah, uh, keep that in mind, because you can only destroy the card that your opponent sets once in one turn. And that does not uh, av um, apply if you summon it off of Cycle. So it will only have, like, the anti-spell-esque effect. But again, being a an illusion monster that you can easily search and special summon, it makes cards like Nightmare Apprentice even uh, better because cards like Talons of Sri Lan, just not really good. You're not trying to search that off of Nightmare Apprentice, so now you finally have a good target. Now, by the way, this card can be good and it can trigger its effect even when you are on your own turn. So it's, it's not necessarily always an interruption on your opponent's turn. You can use this card aggressively. So, for example, if your opponent goes, like, Heretic Seal and then summoned by Dora and then sets a spell or trap card, like, a, I mean, the Kai the Sengan, uh, either quickly spell or the field spell directly from the deck, since your opponent set a card, maybe he's doing that to trigger the Zulkin, you can trigger Diabelzi and then destroy a card your opponent controls. So, again, same thing if your opponent sets a card off of Lost Wind or Trap Trick or Trap Track or Unchained Soul of Sharvara or even Lady Labyrinth, it doesn't really matter too much. Your opponent set a card, therefore, you can destroy something. Or you can just, like, set a card yourself. So you can trigger this card, like, really proactively and always, like, be breaking boards with it. So if you are playing this, um, ag again, if you are playing, like, a sin Sinful Spose engine, you don't even have to, like, rely on the trap card because if you physically hard draw this card, it's always going to be live. And again, as I've said, this, this card is really good against decks that play a lot of quickly spell cards. So obviously this was usually, um, this was initially intended to be against like the, like it, its own archetype. So the, the Sinful Spells and stuff like that. But it's really good against Runix because they're playing like 17, 18 quickly spells. That's insane. Maybe even more. And then obviously against Purely, that, that's just absolutely game. It's going to cripple them completely because they're pretty much, they, they have to rely on quickly spell cards to play and then Forbidden Droplet and other quickly spell cards lose really hard to Diabelzi. And again, you're protecting yourself from evenly, imperm, 
uh, cross out Call by the Grave because these cards have to be used like very late anyways. And if you're if you're insane at the game, if you got Diabelzi and Dark Simorg, this is a full lock. Your opponent cannot activate cards without setting them, but also your opponent cannot set cards. So no spells and shops for your opponent whatsoever. That is just completely unfair. And yeah, obviously these are the uh, two superior cards that you can play with the Sinful Spells package now because these other two cards are just really bad. Uh, Morrigan is kind of like a, a Book of Moon. It's just not good enough. And then this card right here, uh, Battle of the Sinful Spoils, this card is garbage. Like, don't even consider it. It's trash. Conclusion, try to play this card in, or at least try to test it in your Snake Eye deck. Or you can play this card uh, in, I don't know, like as a 1-of or 2-of or 3-of in like any Illusion deck. Try to make it work as well because it is very easy to search and very easy to special summon going second against a deck that plays Sinful Spoils cards. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.